Good day guys, Vikra here and a few more updates. I reprinted the uh, extruder mount here and um, also modified this part here because the thing that was happening is the belt tension was was kind of forcing it up so I couldn't put a good uh, belt tension on it so I kind of remixed the, the design it's the same part of this one I cut off the limit switch because I'm not using it it doesn't really work well with the uh, with the bed plate and all that stuff so I lopped that off and I added some bracing so that it now cradles the whole uh, stepper motor and there's no way there's no flex whatsoever in there it's uh, it's pretty stout and it allows me to have a good belt tension and as you can tell uh, quality is pretty damn good uh, there's always a few things in there retraction is not not perfect but uh otherwise works great and yeah I had a uh, magnetic bed, bed plate it's just a bunch of magnet with uh, super, super glue in there and in here I drilled some holes and recessed the uh, the magnet that's all it is and that's the best mod I've done, really. As far as a uh, print curling up and all that stuff, that's a good thing. Uh, that's the best, uh, the best update. What they do is I just clean it up with uh, dishwasher soap and then apply a, a coat of Elmer's glue, and uh, it sticks to it really, really well. So, as far as print quality, this is what you get. I don't expect to do any better than that because it's kind of under restraint if you, if you think about it this can move back and forth and up and down it doesn't have a second post like a CR10 but uh, I'm not asking more than that that's, that's exactly what I wanted that's what I paid for an ex extremely cheap machine and it allows me to do complex shapes and uh, just learn 3D printing so that's all for now. So talk to you later, guys. And uh, if you want a uh, Xbox jig, this one is for sale. So just let me know. See you.